Okay everybody, welcome to another installment on my series of my Woodland Wildflower Garden. Uh, there's been some bad news on that, um, but first we'll start out with something good. This plant here is called a yellow violet. So a yellow colored violet, it's kind of unusual. It's a nice plant, very compact. I'd say it's probably about six, seven inches tall. A lot of nice flowers. Uh, anyway, on to the bad news. Um, my garden suffered a lot of damage in a hailstorm. This is a jack in the pulpit, <clears throat> been battered. One of the leaves broke here. You can see the damage. Very interesting plant. If you're familiar with the largest flower in the world, the Amorpho Phallus Titanum, this is a relative of that. And you've actually got a kind of a neat looking insides on this. But it's a pity about the damage. What are you gonna do? Uh, my large flowered trilliums, due to the fact that it's been raining a lot and then several hailstorms, uh, they didn't look good very long this year. Probably about two or three days, which sucks, but that's nature, right? What are you gonna do? Uh, this plant here, Solomon Seal, it's a cultivar. Uh, somebody offered me to go into their garden and take out divisions of anything I wanted. And this is one of the things that stood out. Um, see there's flowers underneath there. Um, this is a native wildflower to Minnesota. I'll show you the actual native counterparts of that cultivar. It's not up yet, but uh, I mean it is up, but it hasn't fully opened yet like that one. So I'd say this stock right here is probably about two and a half feet tall right now and, and growing. <clears throat> the uh, hail damaged all the plants back here. Uh, the ferns you can see there's missing pieces and luckily a lot of this still looks pretty good remember that trillium from last time look at how ripped up it is Nodding trillium here. <clears throat> Trilliums. <clears throat> now this uh, nodding trillium is kind of an interesting plant because the flower is actually hiding right underneath here. That's one of the things about uh, native Minnesota plants is they look, a lot of them look very unusual, um, which is something I like. The more bizarre a plant looks, the better I like it. This one sort of looks like something uh, Dr. Seuss would have invented. Almost like a, uh, clover, like a tall clover. Ferns filling in. Uh, quick note here. You'll recall from my other video, um, this one's the Dutchman's Britches, and these are the seed pods. In about a, just a couple days, I should be able to harvest these seeds. Uh, still green, but they're starting to fade away. Hmm. 
You'll remember the star of the show. That one's starting to fade away. <clears throat> Trilliums, they tend to turn pink as they age. But like I say, with the uh, with all the rain and the hail, they just took a beating. Another jack in the pulpit. There won't be too much more to see from this garden until fall. There's another wave of colors that come up in the fall with the asters and the goldenrods. So pretty much for the entire summer, uh, it's just going to be green, you know, you still have interesting leaves. Um, Dutchman's Bridges, like I've told you, you can really see this one starting to fade away. Um, so I suppose it's been five weeks, no, probably about six weeks since um, the first green started appearing. And as you can see, they're already starting to fade away. Another week and these will be gone pretty much. Spending its entire life cycle in eight weeks of, of the year. <clears throat> More trilliums took a beating. Flower had been knocked off that one. I guess we got lucky though because uh, Northern Minneapolis, which is about 20 minutes north of us, had a big tornado and it's devastated up there. This one's a wild geranium. Come on. There we go, wild geranium. Another jack in the pulpit. This one's still in the process of unfurling its leaves. Well, like I say, that's pretty much it. But there will be further updates. Not not as many. Oh, here's one spot of news I have uh, regarding when it's ethical to dig up plants from the wild. Um, I didn't have any of these. These are called Canada Violet. I have another kind of white violet, but this is different. Um, these were growing in the grass at my neighbor's house, and he was going to mow them, and so I asked him if I could have them, and of course he said yes. So I dug them up, and they look good. So I've just added a new species to my garden, which is always exciting. But there you have it, Canada Violet. Just an example of how you can ethically acquire plants. <clears throat> so there it is, another installment. There will be more updates. And I will see you later.